Question number six. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the Minister of Energy and Resources, what Order. are the economic benefits? Order, I apologise to the honourable member. Could I say this time to the front benches on both sides? Please show some courtesy to the members at the back of the House. Sandra Gowdy, question number six. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the Minister Order. of Energy and Resources, what are the economic benefits? from environmentally responsible mining in New Zealand. The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr Speaker, there are many economic benefits. Mining in New Zealand is a $2 billion industry and in 2009 exports were around $1.1 billion. Including oil and gas, the industry employs around 6,000 people. Jobs in the industry are well paid at double the national average and jobs are highly productive, contributing six times to GDP per worker. That's six times the national average. Sandra Gowdy. Supplementary. To the Minister of Energy and Resources, has he seen any evidence of support for the mining industry in New Zealand? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr Speaker, I've seen uh, a great deal of evidence of support of the mining industry in New Zealand. Indeed, I have some photographic evidence here today to show the House uh, of uh, some members who are supporting mining in New Zealand. Uh, the photograph shows the Honourable uh, Damien O'Connor, the Honourable uh, Trevor Mallard and an EPMU official standing outside the Renunga Workers' Hall, uh, Miners' Hall I should say, where, where Mr Mallard was launching this document about health and safety in underground mining. no surprise that this photo was taken during the 2008 election campaign. Sandra Gowdy. Uh, supplementary. <laughs> to the order, Minister order the of House, Ener uh... Energy and Resources, are there benefits to members of seeing firsthand the operations of mining in New Zealand? The Honourable Jerry Brown. Mr. Speaker, yes, indeed. I believe it uh, is beneficial for members to become familiar with mining operations in New Zealand. And uh, it's just to prove that Mr. Mallard's commitment to mining is not a short one. I have this photograph to show the house. Where Mr. Mallard is fully kitted out in his little miner's suit. <laughs> To go down, about to go down the pit. Uh, Mr Speaker, this is where the, when the Labour Party used to like to identify with mining as the industry that was their birthplace. Question number seven. The and speaker. Oh, point, point of order, the point. Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, continue, Mr Speaker. Point. Oh, no, I think uh, oh, yeah. okay. we'd heard some Point of order, on. Mr Speaker. Point of order, the Honourable Damien O'Connor. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Can I ask the member to table uh, the photo so I can have a copy of order. it? <laughs> order. I don't believe the photos are an official document. Point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mr Speaker, I want to seek leave for those wonderful documents to be published. <laughs> leave. <laughs> I'll hear I, the Honourable I'm Trevor unable Brownlee. to seek that leave, Mr Speaker, as these documents already have been published. <laughs> Okay. I think, order, I think the House has had enough uh, fun on that one. Is there a further supplementary question? Uh, the Honourable Tony Ryle. Uh, can I ask the Minister, is there any other further evidence of why we need to, why there is interest and support in the mining industry? The well, Mr Jerry Speaker, Brownlee. what I can say is that um, uh, it would appear that uh, fresh from his visit down the mining pit, with the exhilaration of the coal dust still up his nostrils, Mr Mallard must have told such wonderful stories about the experience that his colleague, the Honourable Phil Goff, was encouraged. Oh! Was encouraged, and for those who can't recognise him, he's the guy on the end here, uh, was so encouraged to uh, uh, put on his gear and go down the mining pit. Mr Speaker, this is from a time when Labor were proud to support workers and proud to support the mining industry in New Zealand. <laughs> Question number seven. The Speaker? Point of order, the Mr. Honourable Speaker, I think it's rather King. unfair that they have not shown the photograph of me when I went down the mine. <laughs> the trouble well, point of order, point of order, speaking, order the Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Speaking to the point of order? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. I understand the problem was that when Annette King went down the mine, the workers were scared to come out. <laughs> Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, point of order. 
Point of order. The Honourable Jerry Brownlee, point Mr. of order. Mr Speaker, in order to uh, accommodate uh, the Honourable Trevor Mallard's request, I do seek leave to table these three wonderful photographs uh, which have previously been published. I'm sure if um, Mr O'Connor contacts my office, uh, we'll make a PDF order. available for his order. next electric order. newsletter. Order. <laughs> I have previously, I've previously ruled out tabling photographs and that kind of thing. Uh, question number seven, the Honourable Ruth Dyson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question 